Hmm, is there a secret of all the Stradivarius? Yes or no? Is it a fake story just to make it fancy or is there actually a secret? Stay tuned and you get some more information. Hello, hello, back again. Today we talk about Stradivarius secret. When I started violin making about 40 years ago, there was just this exhibition of the 80s, which at a certain point came out. It's this book here. We all got that book. It was extremely expensive. And parallel to that, there was Stradivari in Japan, a black book, and the pictures were taken in a, from a Japanese uh, photographer. At that time, that was the maximum. We had the feeling we couldn't touch the instruments. Nowadays, if you look at that book, it's okay. It's really an old book. But you, we were looking at everything. And the main book, which up to that date existed, was Sakoni, The Secret of Stradivari. And then you were reading the book because you were curious about the secret. And the only thing you could find about the secret was the preparation. He put it inside with the egg and all this stuff. So actually, you always hear from time to time in every kind of newspaper and then magazine, if you Google about the secret of Stradivari, you will find a lot of articles. But actually, there is never something where you get really a dissatisfaction. And on the other side, you have all the teachers and musicians talking about what it could have been. Even makers are in the trap that they think, now I have to buy the wood there because then it will be like this and like that. From my very first beginning, the more I worked, the more I actually understood there is no secret. And I just thought all these articles about this magic wood preparation and all this stuff is all nonsense. And I still agree that there is no magic product you put on and then everything is nice and you get the Stradivari. And that's the point where I want to come. The more I make instruments, for a long time I was more towards Guarnieri, stored as strange models. And the more I work on it, the more I come back to Stradivari because a nice Stradivari to make and having the pictures or an original next to you, you realize how good he was actually working. What a great craftsman he was. We know now that he had 15 people working in his workshop and still I had like here six, seven people at a certain point and I had to get rid of some people because it was too much. I couldn't handle it. So he was really a good shop owner organizing everything in order that his product turned out to be great instruments. And already at his lifetime, they were extremely researched and went to the court in France, etc., etc. If you also want to varnish your instruments just like Stradivari, sign up to my violin making academy to the varnishing course. It's just a small part of the entire course which I offer and you will love it. The entire course is definitely what you need to know how to get a nice varnished instrument which is increasing your sound and not depressing it. So we can come to a conclusion. The main ingredient is of course a great material and we do our best to have it. There is the wood preparation which definitely give to the sound a certain kick and probably from 1686 I think he changed that and the appearance of his models changed and you can read about it in the book of Brigitte Brandmeier and Peter Greiner a German violin maker who made this research about the Stradivari varnish we call the book Stradivari varnish very interesting very detailed there is no recipe inside otherwise it wouldn't be very scientific but still it comes to a point that at a certain point there has been applied something as thin layer of protein and this makes a huge difference. I put it on my master instrument inside as well as outside. I made a video about it, about my casein and calcium uh, wood preparation and that is definitely a tiny part of let's say secret but I didn't make a secret out of it. The world is free to use it and to experience with it and still you see makers who don't use it. Okay it's a free choice and still even if you do that it's difficult to compete with the extreme high quality of an old instrument which has been played so that's another kind of part that makes it a little bit more mystery and whatever but after all the fundamentals for the secret of Stradivari are that it is made in a certain way in an extremely good craftsmanship and only if it's extremely well made this wood preparation can increase the sound 
to a great sounding Stradivari. Leave your comment below if you have a Stradivari, contact me. I'm really looking forward to compare my instruments with an original Stradivari. Maybe I make a copy of your Stradivari and then we compare it. That would be a challenge and I'm just here launching the challenge and we will discover the secret of Stradivari together by listening to it. Thanks, hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon, tell your friends, subscribe, subscribe. Ciao, ciao.